Okay, hello there. I'm just um, doing this quick shout out uh, for Charlie, who inspired me to do this from Cooking Secrets um, for Men. So check out his channel when you've got a moment. All right, thanks, Charlie. All right, this, my friends, is what we're going to make today. This is cheeseburger, lots of cheese, and lots of cheese, because it's a cheeseburger. Okay, let's keep cooking. Okay, welcome to what I'm calling uh, burger technology. So, today I'm going to make a cheeseburger with a brioche style bun. So there's your bun here. We're going to have a slice of cheese um, on the bottom of the bun. And we're going to have a slice of cheese on the top of the bun. And we're going to have a slice of cheese inside the bun somewhere as well. So a cheeseburger was meant to have a lot of cheese in it. A cheeseburger isn't just a burger with cheese in it. So let's um, we've got our beef mince here and um, the only thing we're going to do with that is lightly season it with a little bit of salt and a little bit of black ground pepper. Now before I go any further I'm going to stick these in the oven um, at about 130 degrees for about five to seven minutes. Right the internal ingredients. I'm going to go quite simply with some baby spinach leaves and tomato, my beef patty and my cheese so that I hero the cheese. Um, and in terms of sauces I'm just going to use mayonnaise and a product called Tuimato sauce, which Kiwis will know. Now the reason why I'm chopping this is because there are three main reasons why burgers fall apart when people try to eat them. One is slippery ingredients, like avocado. Um, you can still put avocado in, just put them in different layers so they don't slide against each other and have the top of the bun falling off. Um, or people don't bite cleanly in. So if you've got a whole lettuce leaf in there, and you don't get a clean bite all the way through, you're going to drag the lettuce leaf out of the burger along with other things. Same goes for um, tomato. The third reason why burgers fall apart is because you overfill them. Another tip is um, the meat patty itself. If you've got particularly soft burger buns, um, where you're, going to, you're not going to heat the burger buns for some reason, um, then you can put breadcrumbs in with your meat patty and that'll soften the patty out. Okay so we've um, put the meat patty into the frying pan. I have given it a quick fry on one side and now we can shove our piece of cheese on here and give it a quick fry on the other side and then we're ready to assemble. Now another thing about um, the burger patty, I didn't put any oil in there at all and you can see that there's quite a bit of fat coming out of that mince, uh, ground beef or whatever. Um, so that would be quite a nice flavourful patty. Um, not particularly good for you health wise, but you know we're about flavour, uh, not about diet. Um, so um, just eat a little less and have the flavour. Right, it's assembly time. So let's just turn all this off. And I'm just going to tilt the pan down as I take it out so that we've got all the fat in the fry pan, not on the burger. Okay, so I'm going to put a little bit of a layer of lettuce in here, a little bit of tomato sauce. Just a little bit, not too much. Then we're going to put another slice of cheese and then mayo. 
and then we're going to put some tomato in there and then the top of our bun so the bun's not too high and the main ingredient that we're trying to hero the cheese is there to see and there to taste right well I'm going to get stuck into that and I hope you've enjoyed this burger technology episode um, and hope it's given you a lot of tips for you to create the perfect burger. Rightio, I will catch you on the next recipe.